Listen, I don't know how I feel right now when I got this song. The title is, you know, it's serious. Sexy Back to Sleep? Yeah, man, it's definitely serious. It's cuffing season, man. It's getting cold. <laughs> You ain't cuffing nobody. Sit down. <laughs> Wait, so now the explicit version, yeah, take out sex, and you have a whole different, like, vision right now. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, I'm looking at a little, you know, at the, at the end of the day, like, with the music, for me, this is how I translate it. You know, I'm, I'm 26. A lot of my homies, you know, we, we use curse words, and we, we, we talk how we talk. So our lingo is different. So at the end of the day, the music that I want to do, I kind of wanted to integrate that with the old style of music. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, your, your parents could hear it back in the day, and you'd be like, dang, did, did he really say that? And then, but, but at the same time, it's like, okay, cool. I, I actually rock with the young man. I yeah. understand what he talks about. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This song is great for right now, for the season. You know, it's going to get cool. <laughs> you know, you, everybody just, you want to cuddle up. You want to, you know, you want to be able to do that Netflix and chill and all that. <laughs> I hate you right now. Okay, so Chris, your new song, Back to Sleep, will be off the new album, Royalty. Yep, yep, yep. And that should be coming soon. Yeah, the album's coming real soon. You know, we've got a lot of new new tracks and, you know, new direction of where I'm, where I'm writing and how I'm, you know, working on my craft. And, you know, this is gross for me to ask you because you're my brother, but <laughs> your fans want to know, has that? have you ever heard that? You know, I'm going to be uh, humble. You know, I'm not going <laughs> to uh, I'll, I'll take the humble approach and be like, I've had, I have a couple great nights sometimes. <laughs> okay, so now, Royalty, when we saw the album cover, like, you know all of our ovaries hurt. I told you, I wanted to have a baby because of you. Because of Royalty, I, like, almost was like, all right, let's just, I might have to do this right now. You realize that's what's happening out here. Well, man, I think with the album... You know, I remember we talked in person, but I, but it, with the album, I feel like, you know, it's just showing my growth. At the end of the day, she's the main part of my life. So I named my I named my album Royalty, you know, and, and just retrospect of just letting let everybody see, hey, this is what it is. This is the person I am. I'm a grown man. I'm responsible at the same time. And I love doing my music and I love being a father. So I just, in it, I just integrated all that together with what I'm dealing with as a 26-year-old man, you yeah. know, and living my life. So at the end of the day... If people don't love me, if people like me, whatever it is, this is going to get 100% whatever it is. But I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. Chris Brown on the phone talking about his new song that just came out, Sex You Back to Sleep, which will be off his new album, Royalty, which is coming real soon. The album cover itself was just amazing. You know what I mean? Like, you were so excited about this. I remember when it first happened, we talked, and, like, you couldn't wait to share it with everybody. That was a genuine moment of royalty asleep on you. Yeah, absolutely. Like, she don't know about the, like, the actual lifestyle. So once we were doing the photo shoot, you know, she didn't have her nap yet. So she was like, you know what? I'm going to sleep. And so I was like, all right, well, just shoot right now. We'll watch you sleep, and I'll put it down. And then after that, we can, we can, we can keep the shoot going. But, yeah, she went right to sleep. She won't have it. Now, listen. Don't try to make it seem that royalty is calm. I've seen her, and she is hyper. <laughs> well, well, she's definitely my daughter. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yo, she is not scared of nothing. She dances, she sings, she's just everywhere. I mean, look, I knew you'd have a cute kid, but I mean, damn, she is so adorable. Uh, man, you know you when you sis, you know that I appreciate that. But you know, like, for me, it's like, it's just more difficult because... Like, being like she's a girl, I have to take every precaution. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I make sure. I'm like, man, I don't even want her to walk around like a, a, a table corner or anything. Like, you know, it's just, but but she's so active. And, like, as soon as she hears music, she dances. She should be singing around the house. And it's not even me forcing it on her. She just does it. So I'm like, dang, that's crazy. Like, yeah. And just to see her and she kind of looks like, like, she looks exactly like me. I'm yeah, like, of course she does. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but she looks exactly like me. So when I look at her, I'm like, Man, this is crazy, but it's, it's amazing. It's, it's not. There's no other feeling like it. There's no money in the world, no record in the world, yeah. nothing in the world to replace that feeling. Man, it's like it's just great. Are you the one combing her ponytails? Because look, you. If it's you, you've been doing a better job lately. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Like it's like it's baby steps, man. And, you know, my mom <laughs> helps me out every now and then with it. You know, yeah. I gotta, sometimes the bun is a little crooked. It's a little crooked. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You have to bear with me. You have to bear with me sometimes, you know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's. I am so <laughs> proud of you. You take her to school, and you pick yeah. her up, and you do, and you just. Oh, I called you that. Remember, I called you that morning. I said, "Man, I just dropped her off at school." What? I, 
I I'm know. An old man now. Listen, you are. We were talking one night. You're like, I got to go to sleep early because I got to get up early to take, you know, royalty to school. And I was like, what? What is going on? <laughs> Who are you? What is ro- like, I don't even do we are we allowed to turn up anymore or is it over? Are we done with this? Man, you know, what? You, you have to turn up in, in, in increments. See, my turn up, you know, it, I, I don't I don't bring that environment around my daughter. Yeah, you, know, you don't turn up, up at all fun. anymore. Like you have baby nah, bottles. Like when, she's, and... when she's with me, it's definitely activities. What are we, what are we gonna do today? What's on the, <laughs> the drawing board? What? How are we gonna? How are we gonna make you not cry today? How are we gonna be happy? Like, like it's it's a whole it's a whole preparation in this whole thing. Oh but, my but god! It's great though. I, like, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I love this. I'm so proud of you. Chris Brown on the phone talking about his new song, Back to Sleep, which will be off his album, Royalty. When you come to New York, you need to bring her with you because I want to see her. Oh, I definitely will. And that's, that's much. You family. Yeah. And I also, really quick before you go, can you tell us anything else about the album, Royalty? Because, look, this is going to be a big you know, everyone's wanting to see what you've been able to put together after, you know, we haven't heard from you in, in a little bit. But this body of work, is there anything you could tell us about it? Well, this body of work, I, I actually can say it was just me being able to be honest with myself and also be honest with situations in my life. And, you know, a lot of people are driven about by the negativity of anything or stories or anything that catches the eye, whether whatever, you know, fashion of op- outlets it is. But I, but I look at it like this. Now I'm, I'm able to transform. Instead of me giving somebody the, the, the decency of responding to them, or sometimes I do it, you know, I'm impulsive or something, but instead of giving them the decency of showing somebody less than myself, I'd yeah. rather put everything that I need to talk about or everything that goes on in my life and who I am as a 26-year-old man mm-hmm. on this album. Wow. So I you feel, am I, am I going to cry when I'm listening to this? Am I going to laugh? Am I going to want to have kids with the boo? Like, am I going to feel all of these emotions? Like, like, like when I do an album, I look at it like this. All emotions that I deal with, whether it's sadness, happiness, you know, forgiveness, laughter, pain, you know, everything. So I try to, I, I want to make sure that when I make my songs, people understand and, and, you know, people can, you know, have a good time with themselves because everybody else deals with similar situations or situa- everybody's human. So. Yeah. When they get to hear these songs, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you know, you'll, you'll giggle, like whatever it is, you know. So yeah. I think these music and it's not the whole album isn't about hoes in the club with the strippers in the. Boom, yeah. Boom. That's not where I'm headed. But we're gonna have some turn up songs, a couple. Yeah. But but other than that, you're gonna have a real substance. So I get a chance to just have fun, man, and just do my thing. Chris Brown, listen, you are not turning up for nothing. Sit down. Every time I've talked to you, you've been in the house looking at art, hanging out with royalty, talking about the zoo. Sit down. Oh, yeah. She, she, she'll be here today. I'm just getting prepared <laughs> for it. She's coming. Um, if she's coming to, to, to wreak havoc, she, she owns this house. <laughs> Listen, she looks just like you when you're super grumpy and she needs to take a nap. When I saw her the other day, oh. she looks oh, yeah. just she like you. Down now. She has the expression. She, she knows when she don't want something. And she's like, nah, uh-uh. I was like, okay. Okay, all right. Oh, man, Chris, I am so proud of you. You are, you know, not only have you been one of my best friends, you truly are my brother. You've been so good. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait for you to come to New York, and we're going to talk about it. And, you know, I know you're going to update us on the actual album royalty on when it's going to come out, but it's going to be super soon. And this super song, fun. Back to Sleep, is going to be off of it. Yeah, so I hope, I hope, you know, New York always, that's like that's like home for me because New York, I grew up there. You know, I always come out and I, and I love, how, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Everybody always supports me. So I get a chance to, you know, showcase and give y'all great music. I know I'm on everybody else's song, but now you get to hear just me. I didn't, I didn't do a lot of collabs on this album. Nice. So I wanted you just to hear me, just like my first album. When you got Chris Brown's first album, you had to find out who the hell Chris Brown was. So now you're going to get a chance to know who he is now. Yo, it's your boy Chris Breezy, New York City. It's my sister Nessa. You already know my sister Nessa, Hot 97. We going crazy right now. This is my new single, man. I hope New York like it. All the barrels. Let's turn up. Back to sleep. Let's go. Nessa, weekdays at 3 p.m. on Hot 97.